Hi, welcome back to the channel. In our last lesson, we saw resistance in series. In this lesson, we'll see one of the applications of resistance in series, that is the voltage divider rule. In case this is the first time you are meeting our channel, please do not hesitate to click the like button and also hit the subscription bell. That way, you'll be telling YouTube you love what we're doing and you'll be sure to receive our content anytime we create them. That said, let's get into class. Like I said, one of the major applications of resistance in series is the voltage divider rule. We can use our resistance in series to divide our voltage into different portions. Now, if I have two resistors connected in series, let's label this R1 and R2. They are both connected to a voltage source. Now, call, let's call our voltage source V and it's connected via a switch. Now, if this switch is closed, current will flow through it. Let's call the current I. And we've agreed that the voltage here is what? Is V. Now, uh, based on my uh, resistors in series, you see that the voltage across R1, let's call it V1. And the voltage across R2, let's call it V2. Now, if R1 and V1 are across both resistors, in our last lesson, we agreed that my V1 plus V2 is equals to V, such that V now is equals to I R1 plus I R2. Now, let's remember that from our Ohm's law, our V is equals to I R. In case you missed our last lesson where we explained resistance in series, please do not hesitate to check this link up here. You can just click this link to get access to it and also put a link in the description below. Now, if V is equal to I into R1 plus I R2, my V obviously is the same thing as I into R1 plus R2. So that my V now over R1 plus R2 is equal to I. Now, also, if you look at the circuit closely, you agree with me that the same I flows through the circuit since it's a series circuit like we've said, so that V across R2, let's take R2 for example, which is V2, is the same thing as I R2. So that V2 over R2 is equals to I. Yeah, this V2. Now, now, if I is equals to, let's call this equation 1, let's call this equation 1, and let's call this equation 2. If equation 1 is equals to I and equation 2 also is equals to I, then we can equate both of them. That means I can say V over R2, V2 over R2 is the same thing as V over R1 plus R2. Now, to make V2 the subject of the formula, because we're trying to divide the voltage, you can now conclude that V2 is the same thing as V now into R2 over R1 plus R2. Now, this forms the voltage divider principle. This forms the voltage divider principle. That is, at any point in time, if I'm looking for the voltage across R2, I can make a ratio of R2 to the total resistance multiplied by the total voltage now let's take some example that we should determine the voltage in this circuit the voltage in the six ohms resistor as shown below now if you look at this we can let's redraw this for convenience sake to what we're used to now look at this i can redraw this to look like this sorry permit my my diagram So that this is a 50 ohms and here is a four, uh, 50 volts sorry here's a 50 volts here's a 4 ohms and here is a 6 this, this is the resistance here's a 6 the 6 ohms now i'm looking for the voltage my v out now comes here now if you look at our initial diagram you see that it's just voltage the current will flow through this the voltage supplies current i will flow from here and flow through this circuit so that if i flows in there 
then and the same thing happens happens here i have i flowing this way so that my v now is my v out is because my v in sorry is the same thing as 50 50 volts now I'm to calculate the voltage across the 6 ohm that's my r2 remember that v2 which is my v out now will be equals to r2 over r1 plus r2 all into v in that's v now let me let me just use this place that means my v2 will be the same thing as r2 now is r2 is 6 that's 6 ohms over 6 plus 4 everything into 50 so that this is the same thing as 6 over 10 times 50 10 cancels this then i'm left with 30 volts that's 30 volts so that on the long run we'll have a voltage of 30 volts across the 6 ohms resistor now let's see our second question our question says our two ohms our two resistors are connected in series that means I have two resistors this way connected in series across a supply of 24 volts now they are connected across a supply of 24 volts let's have a switch now and a current of 3 amps flows this is a current of 3 amps two resistors are connected across 24 volts if one of the resistor has two ohms yes two ohms determine the value of the other resistor let's call this r2 now the first thing we should do is remember that volt, uh, ohms law says that v is equals to i r now if v is equal to i r then my total voltage is 24 is equal to i which is 3 times r total in the circuit so I can divide both sides by 3 to obtain divided side by 3. So that R total in the circuit is equal to 8, 8 ohms. Now if the R total in the circuit is 8 ohms, remember that R total is the same thing as R1 plus R2. That is 8 ohms is the same thing as 2 plus R2, which is the other resistor. R2 is the same thing as 8 minus 2 which is equals to 6 ohms. Now, we've established that the other resistor is 6 ohms. Now, the value of the other resistor, P, the PD, that is the potential difference across the 2 ohms resistor. That's very easy. Since 3 amps is flowing through the circuit, the PD across that 2 ohm resistor will be the same thing as 2 ohms times, remember that potential difference is seen as voltage and is equal to IR times 3, which is equal to 6, 6 volts. And lastly, if the circuit is connected for 50 hours, how much energy is used? Now, if the circuit is connected for 50 hours, how much energy is used? Remember that energy is the same thing as power times time. And power, P, is given as IV. So that energy now will be given as IVT, which is equals to I is 3 times 24, and they are connected for 50 hours times 50. Sorry, that's times 50. Now, this 3 times 24 times 50 from my calculator will be the same thing as 3,000. That will be the same thing as 3,600 watt hour because we have 50 in hours. Now, I can change this. To kilowatt hour that would be 3.6 kilowatt hour with this i hope you understand how to use the voltage divider principle and also further understand how to treat resistors in series in case this is your first time you're meeting us once again please do not hesitate to hit the like bell and also the subscription bell that way you'll be telling youtube you love what we're doing and you'll be encouraging us to do more Thank you for staying with us and see you in our next lesson.